Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am standing out front of the Army Career Center, Army Recruiting Center. Why am I here? Well, let's talk about Brent Kopaka and the Moscow, Idaho case. There is still a lot of speculation out there whether Brent Kopaka is involved with the Moscow, Idaho case. As we all know, Brent Kopaka got into a standoff with authorities in his coffee apartments in Pullman, Washington, December 14th and December 15th, 2022. Now, this was about a month after the Moscow, Idaho stabbings occurred. As some of you may or may not know, the November 13th, 2022, four college students got brutally stabbed in Moscow, Idaho, 1122 King Road. And when we all heard about what happened with Brent Kopaka in this standoff in Pullman, Washington, which is still under investigation. The authorities are still sealing the case with that. So no one knows what happened in that aspect. People wonder, people want to know, did Brent Kopaka do these Moscow, Idaho stabbings? Was he involved in any way? Did he work with anyone? I spoke to Brent Kopaka's best friend. I spoke to his best friend named Darren Duncan, and I sent him a message on Facebook. He wasn't happy with me because he knows I've been making videos about Brent Kopaka. He knows that I was at Brent Kopaka's apartment sharing with all of you the location of where he looks, you know, where he lived at the time. But he spoke to me, and I want to share with everyone our correspondence with one another, and then we will further discuss. Check it out. Okay, so this is the conversation I had with Darren Duncan, who is the best friend of Brent Kopaka. You can see him putting, uh, they're putting uh, their arms around each other. Hey dude, I'm covering the Moscow, Idaho case. I got a big platform here. Uh, help me put these Brent Kopaka rumors to rest. You were best friends with him. Why do people claim he is involved? Darren responds to me. So you're the guy who keeps making videos about my friend and took my picture of us, replaced me with Kohlberger. He said, people think he's involved because of idiots like you. Go F yourself. I said, hello, sir. I'm not looking for trouble. I've been objective. I don't believe Brent is involved. Never said. A lot of people do though. He responds, why are you making videos about my friend? I said, hello, sir. I don't believe your friend is involved. Never said he was involved. I want to debunk it. His name keeps getting thrown around almost every day. He responds, by you, dude. I've seen your videos. You're helping fuel the fire of the conspiracy theory. If you don't think he was involved, then stop making videos with his face and trying to make connections that aren't there. And he attached one of my um, videos in a screenshot. I respond, I'm trying to talk to people that knew him that will 100% deny he had anything to do with Koberger so I can put this rumor stuff to rest. He responds, I'm sure you'll take this message and put them in a video as well. Then call the police, ask them. They've already put it to rest, but you people won't leave it alone. I said, would you like to do an interview? If I would like to do an interview if possible so you can deny all the rumors about him. Then he attaches the Pullman Police Department's uh, phone number and address. And I respond, police won't talk. They claim an open investigation. He responds, I've already been interviewed by Washington Post and ABC Nightline. I'm not interested in talking to a YouTuber. And then I said, did police murder him? Serious question. He responds, you already know that. I respond, I really don't. He responds, yes, you do. You posted about it. I said, do you and his family believe that they murdered him? I really don't know. That's why I'm coming to the source. You know him best. I have many friends who served. He said, good for you. I'll tell you why people think he did it. He said, you read the papers. You know how he died. I said, because Kohlberger was driving around Nevada Street that early morning right by his apartment. People think Kohlberger picked up Kopaka. I don't think that. He responds, all allegations, no proof. 
Nevada. You don't even have the right state, he says. I respond, Nevada Street, right on the corner there by his apartment. PCA said Kohlberger drove there around 2.45-ish multiple times. People think Kohlberger picked up Kopaka there, went to Moscow, then dropped Kopaka off around 5.30-ish. That's what people think, the proximity. I just want to put these rumors to rest and move on. He responds, not true. Brent didn't even know Kohlberger. I said, awesome. I agree. I'm his best friend. We were like brothers. I'm trying to mourn over his death and you people keep throwing it in my face. I would know if he knew that guy. He did not. I respond, I want to debunk this nonsense and focus solely on Kohlberger. I chose to report what other people put out there because I am covering this case. Brent didn't work at the college. He wasn't a security guard. He didn't own a white car. He wasn't a ranger in the army. He wasn't dishonorable discharge. It's all lies. So maybe he didn't serve in the army. He's saying he wasn't a ranger in the army, but was he in the army? Thank you for sharing. I will now use my platform and say it's not true. Spoke to his best friend. Now, you go share that he wasn't involved. There, you got what you wanted. You talked to his best friend. Go tell everyone he wasn't involved. I respond, I believe you, I really do. I hope you're telling me the truth. I said, keep this channel of communication open, please. Sorry for your loss. Does he have a GoFundMe I can contribute to? Because I wanted to contribute to some GoFundMe. Not that I know of. And then I shot him a uh, tweet that I made, I just spoke with the best friend of Brent Kopaka. He told me Kopaka is 100% not involved with Brian Kohlberger. I believe his best friend. He responds, I hope you keep your integrity and stay true to your word and start posting more videos of Brent's innocence because that is the truth. So he's encouraging me to post more videos of his innocence. Are you aware of my interview with Washington Post and ABC Nightline? That's real professional journalism. They agree Brent is innocent and, they, and that people like you are spreading conspiracy theories. Feel free to go watch those. I respond, I will say he is innocent. I believe you. You are the source. No evidence of any leak be between them. And then he tried calling me a few times, but I wasn't available at the time. He tried to make two calls. I said, hello, sir. I'm going live later to completely debunk the Brent Bryan connection. I'll work on updating the title in the meantime. Didn't mean to offend. He said, you plan to go live on which platform? I'll watch. What time? And that's it. And that's the end of the conversation I had with Darren, and his last name is Duncan. He is he identifies as the best best friend of Brent Copa, Brent Copaca. Let me know what you think. Do you believe the best friend or not? I believe him. Do you? So, is there any connection between Brent Copaca and the Moscow Idaho murders, or any connection between Brent Copaca and Brian Kohlberger? I say no. The friend says no. I believe his best friend, Darren. Do you? Have you found anything besides BK and BK, right? They say BK, BK initials. Um, you know, I understand that Brian Kohlberger's car was seen on Nevada Street, which was near the coffee apartments, but I haven't seen any connection. That's kind of just like, we're talking like six degrees of separation type conspiracy stuff. Uh, authorities said Brian Kohlberger uh, acted alone. I want to tend to believe the, Kohlber uh, the authorities and I also believe the authorities when they say Kohlberger did this, but I haven't seen any connection between Brent Kopaka and Kohlberger. I haven't seen any communications out there between the two. Nothing, nothing. Have you? Have you seen anything out there? I wanna know your thoughts. I know some people were saying that Brent Kopaka used to live in Pennsylvania. I haven't even seen that. I haven't seen no verification of that. Um, have you? Is, I mean, does the, even if Kohlber, uh, Kohlpaka lived in Pennsylvania, does and, and we know that Kohlberger lived in Pennsylvania, what does that mean? What does that mean? I mean, there's 12 million people that live in Pennsylvania, and there's millions of people that live in Washington State. Uh, that wouldn't be like coincidence, do you? What you need to do is find a connection, and I haven't found them. So I am reporting on the scene. Army Recruiting Center, Brent Kopaka is a hero. And all our military are a hero. They sacrificed their lives to give us the freedoms that we have today in this country. So Brent Kopaka is a hero. And if anyone out there is struggling with PTSD, 
surround yourself with positive people. You can get the help if you need the help. It's out there available. I, I know this might have been a, like a PTSD type of uh, incident. That's why I feel like the standoff happened because the guy had some issues going on. Not because, you know, police were going in on him or he was guilty of something he did with the Moscow crime. No connection whatsoever with the Moscow crime. I pretty much my came to my conclusion, but I will continue to report what you guys are reporting on Colpaca. So stay tuned for that. God bless.